All right, hi everyone. Um, so welcome to my next update of Deck of Panning. I know I am super early and like weirdly out of the typical upload schedule for a lot of this, but um, I am, don't know if I'll have time to like film another video about this this month between travel and other weekend plans and things like that. So, um, so I thought I might as well do one now because I did hit most of my goals and I'm the weird one out and um, I'm doing an update and not a finale. And um, basically I started this only last month and um, and I'll basically, when the new year starts, I'll do like, instead of an intro, it'll be another update, but just using the newest game board versus this one is the same board as last month. Anyways, all that to say, I'm making it work for myself and I hope you enjoy uh, what I'm about to share regardless of it being weird and not the typical flow of things and like with everyone else. So that being said, I'll go ahead and update you on the products I have. Um, I thought after the video, I thought of a great idea. I have tons of stickers from my toddler. So I'm going to just stick um, a sticker at every single product that I need to use. And like, therefore every day I can kind of quickly pull out the ones that I um, need to use. I guess the sticker fell off of this one. Sad. Um, all right, let me see here. There's this one, and then I have this one, and I think I'm missing... Oh, that one is actually in here. Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Something just fell down. All right, so um, first, the prompt I got was... Sorry, I have like a little sticky note here of what I had. Uh, this one, the one prompt that I had was newest, and while this is the oldest like in terms of when it was created and fabricated at, a, you know, at a factory. <laughs> this is the newest one to my collection. So it's, it's weird. It's like bookends, you know, both sides. Um, this is the Mac Viva Glam um, lipstick palette that came out 2014, nine years ago, um, around this time. Um, so my goal for this was to use it five times and I hit that goal um, and it wasn't that hard, but I was using a lot of different lipsticks. So this was kind of the right amount of uses for me. You're not going to see a ton of difference in this, but um, I've just been mixing things a lot more in this palette. And I think that's been really, really fun. And then the next one I had was um, not cruelty free. And I did find out afterwards that this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue is actually um, cruelty free. Uh, like Bare Minerals as a brand is. I think their parent company, Shiseido, has, um, you know, a few other cruelty, not cruelty free arguments, but either way, I got my six uses on this and I think that's what matters. So I'm going to actually take the stick. Can I take the sticker off this easily? I have to do it off camera. I'm going to see if I can reuse stickers. Oh, I got it. So I'll put that back in the mix and see if I can reuse that sticker for my next batch of products. Um, my next one is, um, I got the random letter generator, it generated D for me. So I went ahead and pulled out my Mac um, bullet here that has from Plum, it says Plum Dandy on it. And um, I had to use this seven times and I reached that goal. And actually a lot of the times it was as a, a cheek product. So um, that one is said and done. I can take the sticker off. Pop. Ooh, I ripped it that time. It might not be reusable, that's okay. All right, next one here is the cream contour. Um, the West Mantillier Cream Contour Biscuit. This was for the prompt of Splurge. And I um, told myself to use it seven times. And I did. And um, that was actually really, really nice. I had been mixing with other stuff for a little while. And I just used it as it was um, this time around. And I liked it. So um, that is done too. Next one is a huge success. It was six uses on the Patrick Ta lip gloss and the um, prompt there was focus because I had been focusing on it for about a month now, I think, to get it done. Um, and I did it. It is done. There's still, a, you might see a sliver of product in there, but I'm not taking the stopper out. <laughs> but I was actually like constantly melting it with like hot water to try to, um, to try to like get as much product down so then I can like reach it with the stop with the sorry with the doe foot and that seemed to work um but yeah this this lip gloss is huge it is nine milliliters compared to your typical like five milliliters 3.8 milliliters um 
so yeah i'm really really proud of myself this might be one of my biggest accomplishments this year <laughs> is is this one and um i did find that the um like the the twist off area there's a name for it um got really gunky so i don't think i'll reuse this packaging but it is really really pretty packaging and i'm done and i actually kind of miss the um the plumping qualities of it so um in my next um makeup day i'm gonna share a little my kind of my thoughts on on kind of what i'm gonna do to emulate that because i really don't want new lip products but i like the plumping feel of it um so that is great so the only product that's staying is my elf green contour which had 10 um uses on it and i think it was an affordable prompt so yeah, not mad about this. Um, I'm still trying to decide if a green color cor corrector actually lightens my foundation too much or not. So I'll work on it. But um, either way, I'm going to keep using it. I got six uses on it, so four more to go before the next update. All right, so I'm going to pick my stickers up off the floor. And then um, let's draw some new cards. So um, I... I think last time I shared some of my cool cards, it was like my fitness cards. This time I have also some really cool cards and I just got in the mail today and I'm so excited, which is why I also want to film the video today. But um, it is a custom card deck that I got. Um, I think they made it in China, but I got it off of Amazon. Um, and it came in this really cool tin, which is awesome. Um, and this is so cool. I am so excited to show you guys. So um, I custom made this. It's um, I think for ev for the back and every face card and jokers you can customize. So I think I got like 15 or 16 different pictures in there. And these are all like makeup slash floral related pictures that I've taken or or taken of me um over the last few years. And um, this is just so special to me. So yeah, so the um the back of all of these is me. <laughs> it's me doing makeup on a friend on her wedding day. I had the privilege to do that for her and um, I'm not a professional by any means, but she trusted me enough to, to do that. So, um, but yeah, but I wrote a little, if you can see there, I wrote a little deck of panning there because this is my special deck of panning uh, deck of cards. And then um, uh, the cards themselves, I'll kind of just pull a few for you and you know, hopefully throughout the next year we'll get to see more. Um, these are already kind of shuffled, so I'll just pull these ones to show you because I'm so excited. Um, I have a few flower ones in here that I took of, um, this is actually, yeah, this is a, this is flower um, that I took, really pretty. And then a few makeup items here that I also took um, with just some really, really, I love like photographing in different lighting and high contrast, that's like my thing. Oh, this one's really pretty too. This was when I visited my sister-in-law and I took that in a garden near her. It's just like kind of a backlit flower flower there. Um, oh, this is one of my like first project panning um, videos. Like I took a little still of products that I had pan in and stuff like that. This is so old. I don't have any of these products anymore in this photo, but the photo stood the test of time. Um, this one's another cool one too. I think, I don't remember who... I took inspiration from someone on Instagram to take this one. Basically, like if you open up your compacts in a certain way, you know, the light shines in, things like that. So that was cool. And then um, the Joker cards you can also customize. And uh, this one I put in, I put in my little babies. So this is my youngest one. She's super cute and uh, was doing some silly faces. So we'll see if she becomes the jokester of the family. Might be appropriate. <laughs> But anyways, these will be the cards that I use for the project. I am super excited. Um, and let's go ahead and shuffle them up. And we will look at the... I'm going to shuffle them in my lap. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully you guys won't hear me yelp. Oh, I did it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Do one more shuffle. And um, and we'll do... We'll draw our cards for, for this update here. It is last month's prompts, like I said. But... For your entertainment, I am doing it again. All right, I have my pen and paper there. I have the board in front of me. And let me take out a joker because um, only one is needed. So, all right, let us draw the cards. Um, so I can draw five this time. Um, I liked having six items, so I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so this one is going to be the five of hearts. Um, and that one is metallic. Ooh, 
I'm going to write these down as I go. Like, oh, sorry, a tin is metal and I just hit something else that was metal. So metallic. Um, we will pick up something for that. Actually, I think as I go, I'll pick them. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do kind of like pick the card, pick the item, pick the number of uses. So we'll, by the time we finish, we'll have everything together. Um, so let me see. I metallic, metallic, metallic. That is not my thing, metallic. So I just introduced this eyeshadow palette and um, this is the House Labs eyeshadow palette volume two and they definitely have some metallic items in here. Um, this is the hardest shade that's going to be for me to use. So um, I was planning on potentially using this to actually DIY Christmas cards, which is like so out there, but that's my idea. Um, anyways. Let me, yeah, I'm going to challenge myself. Let me see if I can figure out how to use this, whether it be a DIY, whether it be on my face, whether it be on my nails, whatever. Let me challenge myself to use this. And um, the next card I draw is going to be number of uses. So this is a six. I promise I tried to shuffle. It's okay. I'll use it six times and um, do my best to, to use that metallic one. So let me go ahead and write that down so I don't forget. Alrighty, next one here is going to be Queen of Diamonds, and that one is going to be Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Oh, I love it. Um, easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Is there anything in here that is towards the end of its life? Okay, let me be super easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's a sample, and on top of that, it's a used sample. So this is the Biosance Eye Cream. Um, it, I think it dried out during shipping or it wasn't like packaged properly. It was so dry when it got to me. So I mixed it in with some other stuff um, and I don't like it as an eye cream. So um, I've actually been using it as a face cream. So this might be done in like two uses to be honest. But um, if she said, if Emily's put in lemon peasy, lemon, sorry, lemons, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Wow, that was really rough. Um, I'm going to choose one that's super easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, and the uses that I technically need to hit will be 10. No, I'm just going to finish it. All right, I'm going to put this one back in the deck because I'm just going to finish it and it'll, it'll be done. Um, so let me do that one really quick. Write that one down. Let me finish. All right, next one here is the Five of Diamonds. Oh. It is the five of hearts next door neighbor SPF. Okay, that's good. Yeah, let me go ahead and pull in my face primer that I've been trying to use up. This is the Elizabeth Mott um, face primer, learning broad spectrum SPF 30. So let me see. I am about down here. Oops, wow, I just like, totally just fell. Um, I'm about down here. I wonder if I should finish. No, I think I'm going to put uses on this. I will finish it eventually, but I don't know if it will be by the next update. So um, let's see how many uses I'm supposed to use on it. Seven. Oh, Jack. Oh, that's 10 uses. That's going to be a lot. So that'll be good. Um, primer and times 10. Okay. And then my next product, I have three, so I need two more. Four of diamonds. Um... Kid, kid or pet choice. I might skip this one. I might redraw. Um, yeah, just because my kid is sleeping and uh, I don't have a pet. So we'll, we'll just let that go. And I want to pick the products here with you. All right, let me do a quick shuffle here. And then uh, let's see. Let's see here. This is Jack of Spades. So that one is phone a friend. Oh, no, again. <laughs> Of course, I would draw the two that I need help with back to back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually put that back in the deck because um, I want to pick this here with you guys and not necessarily go off camera. So, um, all right. Five of spades. All right. A lot of fives today, huh? Bronzer. If that is the case, ooh, I don't 
have it here with me, but I did do a little Franken bronzer recently and I um, did want to use that up. I could pull back out the cream contour that I used last time, but I think I want to try to use that one up. So I'll use, so I'll put it in to finish. Um, let's see, this one is bronzer and to finish. And then the last product is Seven of Clubs. That one is seasonal. Oh, I love it. Um, and I think for that one, again, I'm going to give myself a challenge. And I am going to try to use this MAC Viva Glam. I think it's one. It's definitely the reddest cream shade. I have trouble with cream shades. I have trouble with red shades. So um, that one's going to be a challenge. And we'll see how many times I need to use it for. Oh, six. Okay, not terrible. Ooh, I was thinking like 10 or something. And that would be challenging. So, um, and that is six times. All right. So those will be my products for this next round. Um, I'm very excited to use these. Some of them are hard. Some of them are easy. And... Um, some of them are just things I need to use up. And so this is exactly what I think this project will be for me is just to kind of get through some things, get to some things that I want to be working on and then roll them out. So um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you had fun. And again, while it's not a finale, I hope it was still uh, fun to see kind of the progress that I have and, and what I'm rolling in this time around. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.